set free sadness. <laughs> <laughs> that, man. Hey man, we taking in on this set free Saturday. Um, Ellis and I, and uh, you know we want to talk about freedom ain't always free. So I think, no, I know like exposure, exposure is key, man. Like stretching, stretching the mind. When I started reading recreationally. It stretched my mind to what was possible. And even though my feet didn't physically touch some of those spaces that I was reading about, I knew they existed. And it, and it, and it just put like some kind of curiosity that just kept pulling me away um, from where I was. And like now I still constantly seek exposure and I constantly try to get around people that challenge me mentally, you know, to be a better version than what I was. Um, but a challenge is this too. Like, how do I maneuver in certain spaces? Like I had to figure out that my old reputation wasn't worth the future that I was trying to build. Mm -hmm. So I had to like, let that go. And, and I think that's a transition because we face instances in our lives where we get caught between who we used to be and who we're trying to become. And in that space, that's an opportunity for tragedy to occur. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 uh, I, you know, many speaking games out of there, I'd have been asked that all around the board why you don't wear a suit, why you don't cut your hair, and all kind of stuff like that. Uh, the way I approach it is, I just be me, and uh, I, I I can't be fake because I, I can't hold it on for a long time. I just be me. So the people that I'm compatible with, you know, you get what you see. You know what I mean? Like this, this is me. I, I mean, I will put on a suit from time to time, uh, but I don't like wearing suits. You know what I mean? Like, that's me. You know what I mean? And I'm I'm not gonna change who I am for nobody because you know then you're not gonna be living your life free. You know what I mean? If whoever in my circle don't like, you know, my 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 my, my demeanor or whatever, then you know we we just not compatible and everybody's not gonna get along and I, I I'm cool with that. So, you know, I put who I am on the table and, and for those who 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 are who compatible with it, then we'll get along and those who not, then hey man, you have a nice day, I wish you a good life. I mean that's just what it is. I don't worry about that kind of stuff, man. You know, because that's extra pressure on us. We got enough pressure on us already just living day by day. And to add more pressure to, to, to put on a, a facade to, 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 to satisfy somebody else, that, that that's never been me. I, I had somebody tell me that I needed to like remove my gold teeth in order to be successful. <laughs> and like I almost bought into it, right? Now I do want to remove it. But because I want to, not because somebody said I need to. That's the difference. That's the difference. Be successful. But I had to let that person know in that moment in time where I'm at. I don't need because when I came home, I, I finished my college degree and I started two businesses, right? But I don't need Johnny, that's like in the thick of things, to think that he is just as easy as taking some teeth out your mouth yeah. in order to be successful. Because that's not, that's cosmetic. And a lot of times, we do get caught up on the cosmetic. And that can work either way. Like you said, you talked about um, the appearance, like the clothes, the, the rims, the car. That's cosmetic. Mm -hmm. That don't show you the value in the person or the values that the person operates from. Exactly. You understand what I'm saying? So, just because you got locks in your head or I got gold teeth in my mouth doesn't doesn't mean that doesn't mean that I can't add value and a lot of people that talk to me tell me I've been told like wow um, I didn't know I could get that type of conversation out of you so on one hand what, what it served as is a vehicle to show people from my, my environment that you can still build value. That doesn't have to stop you 
It may hinder you, but it doesn't have to stop you. And on the flip side of that coin, they're showing people in positions of power that can say yeah or nay about bringing somebody on or giving somebody an opportunity that you can't always judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. I'm finna, I'm finna hit y'all with something real good right here. Okay, I'm finna talk about my hair. Now, boom. The perception is, for a lot of people, you know, not everybody, but for a lot of people, that if you look sort of like me with all this hair and everything, you know, that, you know, you, you're selling drugs, you're a thug gangster, blah, blah, blah. Some people associate that in with, with being, you know, you know, out of bounds, you know. Well, that's one of the main reasons why I won't cut my hair. Just to let you know, because once you get to know me as a person, you're going you're gonna to realize I ain't none of those things. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? For one. And for two, let me just drop a little bit of knowledge for anybody who thinking like that. In the state of Florida, Perfect. Perfect. if you are convicted of any crime, whether it be the county jail or DOC, which is the Department of Corrections, the first thing we do is cut your hair. You know what I mean? So now, if you see a guy walking down the street with long hair like this, he ain't been convicted in at least two years because his hair won't be this long. You know what I mean? So you running from somebody who is guaranteed not to have a conviction at least within the last two years if it has this long. You know what I mean? Because you know you already know. First thing we do in the county jail when you send it, we cut your hair. First thing we do when you touch ground at Lake Butler, we cut your hair. So the guy that's walking with all, I'm not trying to say that he, he's, his character, but one thing I can say about him, he didn't just get out of jail from a conviction. I can guarantee you that. Mm. Hey, well, we done gave y'all a lot to think about. And that's what it's all about, man. Set free Saturday. Let's go. Set free Saturday. Tune in every Saturday. Uh, we'll be dropping a little nuggets. If there's anything that you want to hear or anything you want us to talk about, uh, comment below and we'll touch on it. Until next time, close us out, Devin. <laughs> you know, hey, listen, 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 listen. Close us out, baby. And <laughs> hey, 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 you can check us out on YouTube, too. Um, on I got a channel, Devin D. Coleman, and uh, Playlist Every Saturday. And you just started that. I just I, I, I'm gonna drop my channel next week. Uh, Ellis, it's gonna be Ellis Curry. Uh, I'll be highlighting. I'm mainly be talking about uh, uh, teen prevention. Is what I'm, I'm kind of geared this around. I'm trying to stop our kids from going to the prison system and also the graveyard. That's that's the whole page in a nutshell. Yeah, and I want to and, and, and I want to keep you out. Like when you come home, figure out ways to help you become successful in putting the pieces back together. So until next time. Yeah.